7 Steps of Mindful Productivity and Happy Life Hi guys, my name is Lena Semenek and this is my YouTube channel Psychology of Happiness. Welcome! On this channel I talk about uh, productivity, stress, anxieties, how to become successful in life. I talk about self-esteem, uh, about relationship problems and all other topics that will help you to become happier and more successful in life. So if you like these topics, please subscribe uh, because this way you're not going to miss my next video. Okay, let's talk about mindful productivity. I would like to start with a question. What is mindful productivity? Mindful productivity can be defined as being present in what you are doing while you are doing it. Usually it refers to working environment. Uh, in a simple term, mindful productivity means that you are present and you are aware of what's happening around you, you are aware of what's happening inside of you while you are doing things. Let me ask you another question. Have you ever caught yourself thinking about something else while you are doing your work? I'm sure that you know all of us experience it at least once in our life. Or maybe you have experienced when you are focusing on some work and then you got distracted and after you forgot to finish what you've started, right? So mindful productivity is an ability to be aware of what's happening around you. And when you are aware, of course, you can be more productive, you can achieve your goals faster, and as a result, you will feel great about yourself and you will feel happier in life in general. So today I will share with you seven steps, seven tips that you can do to improve your productivity, minimize your distractions, and be more aware of what's happening in your life in general. Let's start. The first step is to define your workspace especially if you're working from home. Uh, so you need to clean up your workspace, clean up your table from any personal items that might distract you. Make sure that you have your own working space, especially if you're working from home. Do not share your table with other family members. Otherwise, your family members might rearrange things and they might adjust the height of your chair and they may put your favorite pen somewhere and you will be distracted and you will spend lots of time, you know, trying to reorganize your space. Uh, so make sure that nobody, you know, is touching your workspace, then you can save yourself time and peace of mind. Uh, another thing how to define your space, when you are going to organize your mm, table, make sure that all commonly used supplies are within your arm reach. So you can easily reach your scissors if you're using them often, you can easily reach a ruler or you can easily reach the charger if you're using your phone and you need to charge it. Things that you don't use often, try to put maybe in the lower drawer in your, um, under your table or maybe on the top shelf. Regardless where you work, try to keep your working space clean and organized. Tip number two is to avoid eating or drinking at your workspace. I know, I know many of you would say that they like drinking coffee while checking your emails and the drinking coffee actually helps them boost their energy. I know, but accidents happen and an accidental spill of a coffee will create a mess and you will waste time, you know, cleaning your workspace. Also, you can ruin some important documents. So if you have to take a break, if you need a cup of coffee or if you need to eat, eat your lunch, uh, make sure that you do it somewhere outside of your working table. Uh, the best way to do it you know, outside of the office. You can go to cafeteria, you can sit, you know, in a small maybe park somewhere, of course, if the weather is permitted. Because when you go outside, you switch uh, from your work environment to relax environment, and you let your brain to rejuvenate, to recharge, and the fresh air is also great for your health. So, but if it's not possible to eat or drink coffee outside, at least make sure that you step out from your uh, working table and give yourself 
some time to rest. Research shows that when you're eating or drinking and focusing uh, on your work at the same time, your productivity decreases and you are more likely to make a mistake. So my advice or tip number two, do not eat or drink at your workspace. The tip number three, how to improve your productivity is to use a calendar and follow your schedule. Many people can say that this is an obvious thing and majority of us have their calendar. Yes and no at the same time. This is true, but majority of us don't really use the calendar uh, how it's supposed to be used. Majority of us put uh, birthdays, doctor's appointments, and maybe other important event in the calendar and use it more as a reminder for their events. Uh, and uh, I would like to share with you different way how you can use your calendar and incorporate it in your daily routine so it will improve your productivity. And on this note, I would like to introduce the sponsors of today's video, Sansama. Ta-da! Sansama is a daily task manager and calendar. I personally have been using it for seven days and I found two features that I've never seen in other apps. So let me show the app and talk about these features that I was impressed by. This app is available for Android and for Mac users as well as the desktop application. This is the desktop application. So when you open your Sansama, it's gonna look kind of like this. When you want to plan your day, it's very easy. You just click add task, type your task, go shopping for example, and that's it. It's done, it's here. You can plan this task ahead of time. Uh, for example, maybe you can log in to Sansama every evening and add tasks, or you can add them as they come in. I tried both and I actually like both things because sometimes when I'm uh, working, somebody can call me and say, hey, can we do this, this on Tuesday? I check my calendar, I say, yes, I can. And I just add this event to my calendar. So I'm using it ahead of time and you know as the day goes along. And here is the feature that I promised to show you, the feature that I was impressed by. You can just click and move things around. So for example, if I need to pay for my credit cards and I plan to do it on Friday, but on Friday for some reason I was too busy and I did not have time to do it, I will just click and move it around. Uh, when I do the same with my paper calendar, I'm crossing things out and then I'm writing them for the next day and then I'm crossing them again and then writing them for the next day and then it creates a mess. So obviously uh, on Sansama, I was able to do it, you know, with just few clicks by clicking and dragging. And personally, I was impressed. It was so easy for me to move things around, to, to prioritize things up and down. So that was one of the features that I really, really like. So I really like the simplicity about Sansama. And uh, another feature that I found interested is that when you complete things, you can mark them as done. For that, you just need to click on the small icon with a check mark. So if I move this calendar and show my three previous days, then you can see this green arrow, green check mark saying done, 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 done. So uh, the great thing about this check mark, you can say, so what? Like, you know, you can mark it, so what? The advantage of this uh, check mark, the benefit is that every time when you mark um, things that they have been completed, for your brain, it's like, I accomplished the thing. And the more things you accomplish, the better you feel about yourself. This happens uh, subconsciously. You cannot control this thing, it just happens. So every time when you put a check mark, check mark, check mark, and then when you see it on the um, screen, you can see like, you know, the columns with green check marks. For your brain, it's like, wow, I did a really good job today. I really accomplished a lot. So this app will not only help you to manage your daily routine better, but it also will help you with your self-esteem. Uh, I will leave the link uh, under the video and if you click the link, you will also receive 14 days free trial. You don't need to enter your credit card information, so this is 
100% free to try, no obligation, risk free. Check this app out. Okay, let's go back to today's topic. Uh, we spoke about three uh, productivity tips. So tip number four is to set your work hours. And this is especially useful for people who work from home and for people who have their own business. Uh, the advice or the tip is to maintain the same hours every day. If you're working from nine to five, your brain know that from nine to five, you have to be productive and then you can relax. Your brain will get used to this schedule and this will add a peace of mind to you. It will lower your stress level and increase your productivity. If you're working for a company in the office and you have a strict hours, then please skip this step uh, and move to the next one. This probably is not going to be useful to you. But if you're working for yourself, then this is very, very important to have a better estimate of time that you need to complete each task. And going back to Sansala, I would like to share my second feature that I really, really like about that app. So here on Sansama, you can not only add tasks to your calendar, but you can actually record the time that you spend completing the specific task. So for example, let's say that I have a meeting and I planned uh, uh, 30 minutes for this meeting. I dedicated 30 minutes. So let's say meeting. Then I click on this small icon which looked as a clock and then I put 30 minutes. And then when the time of the meeting starts, I can actually click start here, start the clock. And then I go, can go to my meeting. When I come back, I will click stop. And the important uh, part of this that you might be surprised that your estimate time and the actual time that you spent on a specific test was different. Uh, so the Sansama is not gonna, you know, beep, it's not gonna tell you that it's time to stop. Uh, the Sansama will teach you to estimate your time better. And this way you can plan your day better. So I really enjoy this feature. Please let me know in the comments, what do you think about this? Do you think it's useful? Uh, do you think that you will, you know, try this? Do you think that this feature will help you? To manage your day better. So let's move on to the step number five. Step number five to mindful productivity is to forget about multitasking. Multitasking does not exist. So when you simultaneously uh, do two or more things, in reality, your brain is switching from one thing to another. And this not only puts extra stress on you, but it also increase the chance of making mistakes. And according to Harvard research, people lose about 47% of their time doing multitasking. Can you imagine 47%? It's like half of the time. You can complete the things, you know, twice faster. So do not do multitasking. Okay, let's go to the step number six. Okay, step number six is to take care of yourself and create a healthy work boundaries. So listen to your body. If you feel tired and if you feel that you need a break, do it. Uh, drink some water, drink some tea, go outside for fresh air. Make sure that you exercise or just walk around your neighborhood for 30, 40 minutes at least twice a week. Uh, without stretching and exercise, our muscles get tense and then we feel pain. And it's very hard to be productive when you feel pain, especially if you spend lots of time in the same position working in front of the computer, then your muscles get used to a specific position and then it creates tension. So exercises uh, are very important in our life. On my YouTube channel and on my website, you can find several free guided meditations that will only take 15 minutes of your time. I will leave the link below the video description. Find the meditation that you like and do it. It's free, um, absolutely free. You don't need to put any credit card information or anything. It's just for you guys. So 
this is the source i'm giving it to you please use it this is gonna help you to become healthier happier and more successful at your work let's talk a little bit about work boundaries because they also fall into this category and work boundaries is about knowing your own limits so when your boss or when your co-worker is asking you to work extra hours so is asking you to help them with something and you feel that you are exhausted you should be able to say no i don't feel embarrassed don't feel that uh they will think badly about you uh, no you have to take care of yourself first because if you don't take care of yourself your work will not be as good as it could be so remember, if you don't spend enough time with your family and friends, if you don't spend enough time just relaxing, then you need to review your work boundaries. Remember that every time you hang out with your family, with your friends and people that you love, you feel great. You can gain a good energy, positive energy that you can use to be productive at work. So in order for you to be productive at work, you should spend time with people that you love and also do not forget about your body uh, by providing a healthy food to your body and by, by doing exercises because all of this spending quality time with people that you love uh, healthy food and exercises just walking around the neighborhood i'm not asking you to go to the gym four or five times a week just walking around the neighborhood will help you to improve your productivity easier and faster and uh, again speaking about sansama i would like to show you one more feature that i think is nice and sansama allows you to combine your work calendar with your personal calendar so on the left what i really like you can see the whole month and below this you can create channels channels or hashtags and i created uh can't wait hashtag then I created hashtag personal and then I created her hashtag urgent so Sansama allows you to combine you know several calendars into one and allows you to assign events specific tasks or specific events to a hashtag so for example here you can see calendars uh, Elena Semenek this is my google calendar then I have appointments on Facebook then there is a birthday then uh, we have holidays in the United States and then I have to do list uh, each task I can assign based on my hashtags so for example find the hotel and book a plane for Hawaii assigned as a personal thing uh, pay for the credit card hashtags I can't wait uh, so when I want to sort things out let's say for example for Friday I have lots of things that I have to complete uh, it's 5 p.m. and if I feel that I don't have enough time to complete everything I can just sort them out so I can put urgent first and I can say okay I have a meeting with a client it's urgent there is no way I can cancel it I need to complete it then I can go to the can't wait category and they say okay there is nothing else to do on Friday that cannot wait uh, it's only on Saturday and then I can search and put all and then I will you know display all the things and as I said I can just move things around go shopping for example I don't have time to go shopping on Friday I will do it on Saturday uh, call friends to confirm who's coming for a birthday I don't have time to do it on Friday I will do it tomorrow okay so you can move things around okay let's move on to step number seven and step number seven is to delegate your responsibilities you might say that you're working for the company and this tip will not apply to you and please allow me to say that you are wrong if you're a manager or if you're a business owner then probably you have people beneath you and you know how to delegate responsibilities but what if you don't have you know anybody beneath you then you might think about delegating some of the responsibility that you have at home so for example maybe you can ask uh, each family member to do their own laundry 
and uh, if asking does not work just create a rule say okay guys i'm very tired i don't have time to do everybody's laundry so starting today you have to do laundry yourself or you have to wear a dirty clothes this is your choice uh, maybe you can uh, schedule create a schedule uh, who will go grocery shopping each week maybe this week is you next week maybe it's your husband if you're living with your parents maybe then it's gonna be them you can ask your teenage daughter for example to do a research and to come up with three places uh, for the next family vacation and um, ask her to search for hotels airplane tickets and maybe research some activities that you will do when you arrive to that place so every time when you're doing some task at home ask yourself who else in my household can do the same job besides me and at first your family members will protest uh, you should be ready that they will say no and they will start to sabotage your new rules and that's normal you know let them do what they want to do but do not give up little by little they will use to uh, idea that all home responsibilities should be shared and again when you're gonna spend more time with your family when you're gonna feel uh, more relaxed when you're gonna come home uh, from work or from your working place in your home in a good mood it, they will also benefit from this when you are tired when you are exhausted when you are angry when you are under stress nobody feel great at your home this you know stressful energy is just in the air and they will feel it so when you are trying to delegate your responsibilities within your household everyone will benefit from it so here you go seven steps to mindful productivity and happy life let's summarize one define your workspace it should be only yours and make sure that it's cleaned and organized Two, uh, avoid eating or drinking at your workspace. Go outside, go to cafeteria, because eating and drinking will not only distract you, but also you can create a mess. Three, use a calendar and follow your schedule. And for that purpose, please check out the sponsors of today's video, Sansama. The link is below. And by using this link, you will receive 14 days free trial no credit card needed no purchase needed it's completely free try it and i hope that you're gonna like it number four define your work hours number five forget about multitasking number six self-care and healthy boundaries remember if you are tired if you're exhausted you need to say no you have to take care of yourself exercise or at least go for a walk around your neighborhood for 30 40 minutes every week and number seven delegate your responsibilities please let me know in the comments if you have been doing any of these seven steps that i shared with you or maybe you have your own tips that you can share with me and with other people who are watching this video i will be more than happy to hear uh, your tips and uh, I'm sure that people will like to read them too. So share your comments, share your tips, share your thoughts on this topic. And if this video was helpful, please let me know in the comments. Let me know like, yes, I like this. I would like to have more videos like this. I like the steps. Let me know which topics would benefit you the most. Do you want me to talk more about money, self-esteem, health, uh, maybe extra weight, anxieties? meditation give me the topic and i will be happy to create a video for you if you like this video please support me give me like and share it with your friends and family when i see your likes when i read your comments i really feel good and i like to hear from you because this motivates me to create more videos for you and share this video with your boss maybe uh, you know, after watching this video, your boss will think about creating a healthy work environment and will not ask you for extra job when you're already overwhelmed with the current task. So thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.